still sweating. Do you wanna know what the not comedian just said? We're a loss. Or maybe not. And now we're in the emergency room. And We are at the place where we park for the airport and Zeus and I pretty much slept all the way here. Yep. And my lip looks really gross. I'm but, a little dehydrated. But I'm not. It's just dry. Okay. <laughs> and I guess we're going to get out now so we'll see you at the airport. Party! You guys are almost forgotten in the car. <laughs> I, I left you in the car and then we were gone. But now we're in the airport at the farthest terminal or gate you could be from. Hey, they keep dropping Bunny and Bunny has something wet on it now. And they told me not to taste it, but I did. Oh, well, parking lot water? Well, I think it's just water. But yeah, 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 whatever. Scoot. Where are you trying to go? Ow, my leg. Long time ago, I said how I had another uh, piggy and a shark, but I couldn't find them. They're on my backpack instead of being on my collar. I do not like sitting next to me. She almost stabbed out my collarbone. No, you <laughs> With, when she was when she was taking the head part off of wobbly when she was taking the head thing off of wobbly she almost jabbed it it jabbed out my collarbone and then she I was saying that I could only find one half of my seatbelt so then she pulled on it and almost pulled my finger off we haven't even left California yet and I'm and I'm wearing my life vest. It's not zipped yet, which zipping it is the part that actually helps with, you know, being held up straight. But also being in a really really squished plane might be might pull me together too. And there's it's the full plane, and there's a lot of people on it already. And it's hot. at all but really we've <coughs> gone into another building in another state and then rode a train to another building in Texas or in Texas and now it's dark outside and I'm still sweating but I've been wearing the light vest and actually my back doesn't hurt that much surprisingly considering that I've been sitting upright all day long but my legs hurt which I mean, not that we didn't expect that to happen, because when my back is more straighter, my legs are more hurtinger. And I guess I'll see you in DC, unless I vlog random clips out the window like I was while we were flying here. But I was, I took pictures of another plane that we were flying next to. And now I'm being scared at, so bye. Do you wanna know what the not comedian just said? I might have asked her if she wanted my pillow, pillow that's inside of my bed. It's a neck pillow. So I, and then I looked at her and went, oh, you know. We are ready to go, so please put away your carry-on items, including large electronics like the laptop.
Virginia. Yeah. We're in Virginia. And we're all we got in like a half an hour early because everybody loaded up onto the plane really quickly. Hey. Well Going now up. we're back in public, so <laughs> bye. We're lost in Virginia, but we still haven't left the airport. So we're lost. I don't know. Trying you to get to the people, not to me. the rental car place. I'm really happy our flight came in half an hour early, so we're not just doing this in the exact middle of the night. We're just a little bit before. It. We're still lost in Virginia. Well, now we're we we're not lost just anymore. Like we're just looking for the rental car place, but there's nobody at the rental car place. And now back to talking because there are people that were definitely looking at me like, what are you doing in the middle of the night? Pretty much nobody's working here in the middle of the night. So it's hard to get to your rental car. Well, first it's hard to get out of the airport and then it's hard to get out of the airport and to the rental car area. So fingers crossed, this is where we the finger shows we actually find a person. I go, my plane and comes in to love 53. Whoa, we're oh, here one hour, one hour after your flight. Maybe. Or maybe not. We finally found someone. Apparently, you go to the parking garage where you're going to pick up your car when you come to, when you come to an airport in the middle of the night. So... I guess we should know this because at this point we've come, every time we've traveled we've ended up somewhere g or arriving in the middle of the night. So now you go to the like the counter. Well actually when we were in Texas though, you just go pick your car up and then when you're driving out the parking lot you give them your paperwork. But here you go to the window in the parking garage. Vlog. I'm trying to vlog and navigate so we might have to drive past again another day before we leave but look there's the Washington Monument aka the drumstick slash the pencil that's how I remembered what it was there it is all blurry because it's dark out yeah same with mine well if we pass by it closer I'll try to press record in time and look, there's the capital. I also took pictures of both of these through the window of the airport or the airplane on my phone. But those pictures are even worse than the view that you have right now. It's right there. Much better view. And I'm still trying to navigate. Go straight for 0.4 miles. And on that side, it's the capital. We are at our hotel and it was quite an adventure to get here because there we had to pull over for a fire truck and then we ended up ending up where the fire truck was and then there was like one more fire truck and two police and two ambulances because it was right on the border between DC and Maryland and then right outside of our hotel there's some people being arrested and police dogs so I don't think we're staying in the greatest of areas but once we get inside i'm sure it'll be fine yeah that's what i'm thinking whispering in the hallway we got to our room and now we're going to 7-eleven which is across the street which hopefully is open 24 7 because we need water and ooh, any kind of snacks one that any <laughs> <laughs> she said press the button. And so I I'll ask the guy if it's safe to go to Seven Eleven and see what he says. Good morning everybody. We are headed towards the MRI and it's in like two hours and then we're gonna go to Target or something while we're near there. And we went to 7-Eleven last night, but I didn't end up vlogging while we were there because it's right there. And we were walking in the darkness, which people were giving them some weird looks because they're driving, they're pushing me all the way over to the 7-Eleven and, and it's one o'clock in the morning. It was one o'clock in the morning, but we didn't actually sleep in that much today. Like if we were at home, it would only be like eight o'clock when I woke up. Mm -hmm. So it was 11 here. 
late, but not really. We went to lunch, even though I just talked to you like good morning. It was because we slept in, and now we're going to the MRI. At least it's not a laying down MRI, but still, yes, an MRI. But this one's flexion extension, so that means that I'm going to have to move my head more than just like this. Which, I don't know what that sound <laughs> is, but do you hear my collar? I'm pretty sure I shouldn't be doing that to cause that sound, but it's so creaky. I almost forgot to vlog in here. Can you guess where we are? Target. Because we can't go pretty much anywhere without going to Target. So the MRI was good, I guess. It was a lot better than I expected it to be and a lot better than doing the laying down flexion extension, but my head still hurts a lot. The like looking straight forward was okay except for I could feel my like spine crunching so then that was worrisome on the mind because I could the the little like bumper thing to keep your head mostly in place I could feel it stretching the skin of my forehead as my back was crunching and then the chin to chest part that was kind of gross but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be because I didn't lo fully lose vision but kind of, and then the awful pulling in my butt, which, I mean, that's kind of just a thing that happens to me when I look down, except for my head doesn't really feel all that connected right now anyways. Like it kind of feels like it's shifted forward compared to where it normally would be. And then, <coughs> oh gosh, um, the, extension part of the looking up was a lot more painful than I expected it to be but I it was fine and we had to do that one twice because I wasn't centered I couldn't imagine why but um, I think that's all and then I have we don't have anything else until tomorrow so we're at Target shopping and then we'll go somewhere probably back to the hotel and then It'll probably be dinner time because it's 3.15 and we eat dinner at like 4.30 because, I don't know, because we go to sleep early, which that's going to be weird though that we're eating at 4.30 here because our, our like internal body time is, that would be like 1 o'clock, but whatever. Look at the tow truck. Do you see the blinking lights on it? I'm trying to zoom, but our light might change or his might light change. See it? And then yesterday we saw a fire truck with this blue spinny thing on the front. Well, we're going back to the hotel because it's getting into rush hour traffic and nobody wants to be driving around in that. We're walking around now. It's after they ate dinner at a seafood restaurant back there. And we thought it was on the other side of the under thing so good thing it wasn't because otherwise we would have to push up the the under thing and yeah because there's a better sidewalk over there and now we are walking around and where are we silver spring i think yeah okay well bye good morning we are headed to my ct and I like the trees here. I did ha I think when we came in, in 2012, when we came in the summer, I just didn't like the trees because I didn't like the humid. And I thought for the trees to be here, the humid has to be here. It's not that bad when it's not humid here. And the traffic here is crazy though. We're driving the other way on a freeway and the other side was very 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 busy look i'm creeping on somebody's dog at cvs wait no jump up again doggy jump doggy jump well there's a border collie right there you can see the lady and her dog we're here at the imaging place 
And on the way here, we thought we were driving into a neighborhood and we were like, oh no, we're lost. But then we're not, and we're here in the parking lot. I have to speed vlog, but now we're in the emergency room and you're not allowed to vlog in an emergency room, so I need to talk quickly. But my CT happened and it was really, really quick. And you just turn your head all the way to one side and then they in and out and in and out and in and out and then all the way to the other side and then in and out and in and out and in and out. And now we're at the emergency room because her port might have to get taken out. And then they'll probably have to put in another one when we get back home. And Zeus is not a lot of fun when she's on anesthesia because she never wakes up and then when she does, she's a hot mess. Zeus is being admitted, so for until she goes up to room, we're going sightseeing because she's just sleeping in there and She's tired because she probably has sepsis, which means that there is bacteria or something in her blood. So she'll be staying here for maybe a day, maybe more. And then my appointment is tomorrow somewhere else. And then we'll come back to visit her, I guess. Probably come tonight. Tonight, and then she gets checked into her room tomorrow after the appointment, probably. Her appointments in the for, in the morning. And so they don't know if they're gonna take out her port or what yet, but she's gonna have antibiotics in her IV. So. This is the first time they said that they've seen a port that's infected from the time it was put in, but it's been hurting her since they put it in, so I kind of think that it was infected all the way back then, like a week ago. There's the lighthouse. <laughs> oh, there's the Capitol building. There it is. There's the Washington Monument. We're driving behind it or in front of it. I don't really know. World War II Memorial. Uh, the World War II Memorial. You know, I've seen these things in pictures before, but other than the Washington Monument, when I see them in person, they don't look the same as the picture, so. And now there's the Lincoln Memorial. Maybe, oh, maybe we'll find parking somewhere. I don't really know where you can park to go to these places. Where'd the horses go? Oh, they're back there. They have policemen on horses. We are at the World War II Memorial, and I think I'm losing my voice, so soon this is gonna be a silent vlog. Apparently do not drive the little bird or rental scooter things in here, but here's the Pacific side, and then behind us is the Atlantic side, and fountain. And then way down there is Lincoln. Pearl Harbor. The Eagles. And um I don't know what that thing is called in the middle. Deflection Pond. And then we're going towards Lincoln. The Lincoln Memorial. We're trying to figure out how to there it is. There's an elevator sign. So we're trying to figure out how to get up there with wobbly. There's a Lincoln Museum inside or underneath the Lincoln Memorial where the elevator is. I can't remember what that's called. What is that? Uh, is that the Nightmare Park? No. Well. There it is. <laughs> I'll ask Mom. Seven years ago. She'll remember what that's called. And yes. there's Lincoln. Whoa. Look. I don't know what city that is, but there's a sit skyline. Wait. Oh. The backside of people. Look at. I don't. I also don't know what those things are, but those are cool. Zooming. 
you're giving me the heebie-jeebies. I know, because it's like, ah! You're right? zoomed in, so it doesn't look as far. There's the Korean War. They, or the Korean War monument? Memorial. Memorial? Yeah, I see how this one could be a little bit eerie at night, because they're kind of hiding in the trees and the bushes and everything. On the wall, on the opposite side from us, there's engravings of people. Mountain. Oh no! Zeus's port is being removed in 30 minutes, so I guess we'll see her afterwards because we're more than 30 minutes away. Mostly from our car, but then we'd have to drive back. So, apparently she got moved to a room or something. Yeah, because maybe. now they're going to take out her port. And it, well, then are they going to put in another one or are we going to just put in another one when we get back home? Do we know? Maybe not. Wow, look at the fountain. Or I guess here the fountain says freedom is not free. Here is the, oh no, I already looked it up and I can't remember. I think it's just the war memorial or maybe the world war one. I gotta look it up again, I'll be back. It's called the DC War Memorial. It's a little circle monument right off of the reflection pond, which is over there. And I don't know what that is, but there was horses over there or horse trailers. I don't know where the actual horses are. We're coming up to the Washington Monument. Construction on one of the monuments. Zooming. I don't know which one that is though. Look how tall it is. He has to tilt me so that I can look up that high. Okay, back to normal ground. There's the Capitol. Look, it's the White House. We stopped to get ice cream at a ice cream cart and there's the White House but I'm zooming in because we're kind of far away there's some possibly army people possibly I don't know what they're all wearing um, camo uniforms though walking down the hill sorry my hand is shaky look we're at a bu the building right next to the White House I don't even know what it's called but there's all kinds of people getting um, security checked, but the security guy's vest, oh jeez, it says Secret Service on it. Luckily, we p were picking up food, or we were already planning to pick up food for Zeus, because she texted us that the food cart at the hospital went by and they didn't drop off food for her. She was like, I'm hangry. So now, it's still like 20 minutes until we get there, but we do have food, so at least she'll be happy when we arrive. We're here with Linda who doesn't listen to me because I told her that it's not supposed to hurt when you bite and I don't even have a port in me and I know that. And look at her now. Chewing away. Chewing away. And all this week she's been whining that, ah, whoa. Hey! Wait, I want one. We are leaving you for the night. Goodbye. And her, she doesn't have a port anymore. And she's going to get a pick line until she can get another port. But she's not getting a pick line until we go back home. So for now, she's um, central lineless. You guys, look at this. It's like we're driving through like rain fog because all the cars are flipping up little pieces of water and the rain which this makes me sound like i've never been in a car in rain before but i feel like at home it doesn't get this misty it, it's more like i don't know the water kind of sticks to the ground more but that might just be me and make it sound like i've never been in weather before <laughs> 